quiet mind only means that these vasanas that where the witness had the vasana, it stopped jumping and stopped jumping and recognized that, oh, it's futile. It only creates more sorrow for me. Like in yesterday's chapter, Maharaj says, good desire or bad desire, it is going to bring sorrow. Witness learns that, understands that, really sees that and stops jumping. When it stops jumping in, the desires, it stays as the witness. It notices past thoughts come repetitive and oh, it's nonsense, utter rubbish. It doesn't make any sense. You remember in yesterday's chapter, Maharaj said one sentence, I do not have any desires and I do not have the compulsion to satisfy any thought that arises. That means the regular repeated thought arises. But he does not feel the compulsion to jump in, claim ownership and either do it or not do it, whatever. There is no compulsion to satisfy. No, you are expecting quiet mind means thoughts also should not be there. That is not a possibility. That is again what a spiritual shopkeeper tries to sell to you. And then you are like, struggling hard, I should reach a point where there's no thought, no thought, no thought. Happens for one, two, three, five, ten minutes and again back to thoughts. Because that is natural. That is the natural projection. You're trying to change that which is not in your control. The projection has already been projected. For example, a director has already written the movie, already produced the movie, it's already running in cinemas. Now you are saying stop, silence. This sound movie should become a silent movie now. It's not possible. You are trying to change the projection. You are trying to change what is not in your control. This is what a spiritual shopkeeper will sell to you. You are enamored by such a thing. Wow, silent mind, I want it. Samadhi is not using the witness consciousness, simply being the witness. There is nothing else that is Samadhi. All else is lies. Samadhi.